Seven, eight, nine. So that's the rhythm part for Jeff Beck's Scatterbrain. Break that down a little bit. So this is a 9-8. So you have... So the pattern I'm doing there to keep in time with that as, in a, as a background thing is just... B flat minor, 688666. Then we had a D flat with a B bass, which was 7, and then a muted A, and then 666. Then we moved that one up. That's a D with a C bass. So we had an 8, and then down here we had 777. Then we moved that up, we had an E with a D bass. So we had that 10, and 999. And then we had G major 7. Which is 10, 9, 7, 7, 7. And then we have these other chords. So here we have, this is the top of a B flat major chord. So this is the 10, 11, and 10. But you gotta do it like this. So you can get this B flat, or A flat bass up here. So it's a B flat chord with an A flat bass. And you're meeting the D string. And then you take that same shape, you take it down here to where you'd be on a G chord with that 787, but you have an F bass. And then you go down to where you'd have an E chord, but you have a D bass. And then down to where you'd have this like D flat, but you have a B bass. So it's the same thing each time it goes down three frets. Okay, so once again, you got 10, 11, 10, 11, 10 with an 11 in the bass. Then you have a 787 seven with an 8 in the bass. Then you have a 454 four with a 5 in the bass. Then you have a 121 one with a 2 in the bass. 789. Next, we'll talk about the riff. So that'd be normal enough. But he adds these last two to it. So that gives you the nine right there. Sometimes you can do some hammer-ons and pull-offs, you know, you could practice picking the whole thing with all the notes, but they're doing it so fast on the album, it'd be really hard without some hammer-ons and pull-offs help. And then the chord changes, but this riff doesn't. So this riff actually goes four times before it changes. So this would be the second chord, that D flat with the B bass, same riff. And then when that 
that chord goes up to the D with the C bass, we go up chromatic to the four and five. And then that chord goes up two. So we're gonna go up two also to the six and seven. Now this next one, it goes to the G major seven. We're gonna go, we're gonna change our fingering and not go to the middle finger. We're gonna go to the ring finger, nine and 11 and 12. And that's the one that goes over that G major seven. That G major seven was 10, nine, seven, seven, seven. for the chord change. Now we're gonna move up one. And just do it twice. Then we're moving up two to the sixth and seventh. Now we're moving up three and we're switching our fingers. the 10 and the 13 to the 7 and the 10 to the 9 and the 11 and then the 6 and the 8 